Welcome everybody, this is your Strategy Wolf, and welcome back to Strategic Command American Civil War. Welcome back to the Blue and Grey campaign versus El Can I Destroy the Rematch. We're playing the Union side, and it should be around July 1863. It's turn 39, and yeah, the CSA troops are slowly collapsing. We took Richmond, we landed some troops in uh, Virginia, and it shouldn't take too long to seize the entire state. Uh, enemy's morale is shattered and the enemy seems to be leaderless um, however yeah the war isn't over and we have to clean up without too high losses um, there's kind of no doubt anymore that we are going to do that but still there's tons to do and things to take care of so let's not take it too light handedly and uh, let's go in watch the replay together and see what the enemy can still do and what we have to do so let's watch the replay The enemy has really the MPP to reinforce the monitor, okay. Here a counterattack at Richmond, yeah. It's gonna hurt us. But the enemy is not retreating, it's still this this insane desire to for attack. Um yeah. I mean if we lose the division or not doesn't matter in the end. I feel like this if the enemy keeps the position over there, this will inevitably lead to the destruction of the Virginia forces. However, they seem to be cut off anyway, so yeah. We shall see, we shall see. Here in yeah. Uh, damn, enemy gets reinforcements from Dardanelle in the future, that's sad. And Johnson is escaping over the uh Mississippi River, while Mexico City has fallen in the Civil War, it looks like it at least. All right, yeah, no huge surprises in the end. Here we go, what can we see? Yeah, these couple attrition losses where we cut off the enemy of the play. Unfortunately, one moved back to Dardanelle. Mexico moves going to San Luis Potosí, okay. So Junta Superior proclaims Second Mexican Empire, yeah. Napoleon III installing Maximilian of Habsburg, okay. Well, that's what my, my knowledge on this one. All right. Apart from this, no big news. We didn't even lose one single unit. Um, yeah. Couple of good raids. So things are looking pretty neat for us. Um, and before we get into further analysis, analysis, let's have a quick look up here. In the... Yeah, it has been loading a bit for a bit, surprisingly, in the... Fighting spirit section, 24% for the Confederacy. We had 104, yeah. <laughs> so this looks pretty, pretty good for us. And I feel like, I don't know, depends on how quickly we can make more progress. We're going to be able to yeah, get them to zero pretty soon. I, I hope so. I mean, here, Petersburg is in reach again. Then we've got Raleigh. We've got yeah, a couple of objectives that are not so far away. So we shall see how long this takes. Uh, that the enemy really reinforced the monitor over here, that's insane. But it is what it is, I mean, yeah, if she thinks that it's like... <laughs> I mean, I guess also the enemy must be in a point of uh, resignation, I guess. Uh, so, a big cheers up that she's can continue playing. Um, high, high respect for that uh, energy. And thank you so much, Alcanize Destroyer. That's um, sure requires some guts. Uh, let's have a quick overview. I mean, here's probably here in uh, in Arizona, we have kind of the strongest and most intact army of the enemy at the moment. And the other fronts, we're basically marching forward everywhere. Um, yeah, I mean, here we have the army uh, next to Richmond or Petersburg, but let's be realistic. I feel like, yeah, the enemy is going to, yeah, these units are going to be taken out pretty quickly. Ay, 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 ay. Looks like a very promising and yeah, good good turn for us. But uh, let's not be too megalomaniac early on and see what we can do. I'm gonna take a couple of closer looks and notes, as you know it already, and I'll be right back with my actions. So I'll see you in a second. All right, guys, I'm back, and as always, let's start off in the very west here in Arizona, where things might be still the trickiest. However, I still feel also quite in ease. These days, I think we can move uh, Mr. Carlton at least one more forward, so he can also command over here. We'll use the command here to attack off from Opelivaca. No, instead of zero two. Yeah, a little bit disappointing. However, we'll use the time to reinforce. We're not under pressure to, yeah, push up here. To be honest. Yeah, let's do this rotation maybe and, and reinforce both over here. These guys. Um, Yeah. 
Okay, let's get the reconnaissance over here, which is nice. Um, do this little attack over here. Maybe let's proceed a bit. Uh-oh. Then let's shuffle here. And I feel like this position is not really worth it. I don't know. Shall we shut the connection? Yeah, maybe I think I will do that. Let's catch up to the A one Dorn HQ and let's see how she will react. I, I feel like why is the enemy not retreating over here? It would be more stable. Uh, let's see. We got our mountain division incoming. So I guess in like four or five turns, maybe we have them down here. Uh, yeah, we'll take some while. Maybe the war's decided until then. We shall see. Uh, it's in the end not the main theater. Uh, and we with the Chino Mine, I feel like we have the most important objective. Of course, El Paso would be nice. But let's see. Maybe we can achieve different success down here in texas or other success and these boys over here are without supply so mm, but it's rather you at the moment ah, six and then no maybe not Hack them a bit i mean they will not be able to move anywhere else so i guess our target would be to move up as fast as possible towards austin uh -oh. It's the only remaining, or here is the San Antonio, Austin, and Galveston are basically the remaining fighting spirit targets. They are far away, and supply here in the Texas Plains is pretty bad. Yeah, still, we have to take the right. We have four, three, two, one. Yeah, we have to go. I mean, they can't reach Dallas anyway, so let's see if we can reach Waco next turn. That would be the ultimate target, I guess, on Marlin. And from here, we can resupply ourselves. Yeah, but it's a side thing in the end. Over here, we with this regiment, let's take Camden. Question what we do with this native's remains. I mean, Shrooks port over here. I think I'll bring them over here so they can raid in this area a bit. Up here we having a siege of little rock that caused actually or unfortunately some supply problems for us. Which is acceptable. Um, and once again, of course, I'm not I unfortunately don't know the, the siege rules very well. connect um i'm not entirely sure but i think this should start them down over time or set up like this over here but I, I think at some point we're gonna get there and maybe we'll move also some ships over here yeah this is the only unit that managed to escape basically the surrounding and supply problem um we're gonna maybe face them over here because fort smith actually doesn't need his um garrison and Oh, they have <laughs> one. Okay, they've got one uh, life, so let's destroy them instead. All right. Good that it went this way. All right, down here, um, enemy tried to escape from Ar Mith Mith Johnson HQ from this pocket here in Arkansas, however. Uh oh. Not destroying them by now, okay. But, yeah, we will. There we go. Johnson HQ is gone, and uh, this is quite important decision. Here we can reinforce our troops a bit. Let's bring you guys down here. Even closer, and here Helena. Yeah, this is unimportant. Yeah, they keep on moving. Blade with these reinforcements when they join up with Fremont. Basically, we cleared Arkansas, and then we could push on the left uh, bank of the Mississippi even further down. So yeah, good situation over here. Here in Hopefield we've got our pioneers. Mm, do they have railway over here? They do. And let's use the momentum and yeah, also reinforce them to pen and then we might toss them somewhere into battle. Here we've got another division available for us. And I think once we here, let's continue down the Mississippi River if fronts yeah, make sense like that. First of all, Wicksburg finally out of supply and yeah, not reinforced. We'll use our ships actually to destroy it. Very, very nice. 
which at the same time allows us to actually reinforce these boys. Take Wicksburg with these, and therefore we've got another um, fighting spirit target. And now I think we could use these gunboats basically down here. Guys, it's in the end. Um, I just so Doctor Blitz so quietly, and of course uh, the Virginia success overshadows everything. But it looks like when if we control this very yeah, this is the last remaining hex that we need to control. Then we have control over the entirety of the Mississippi from north to south, and yeah, super good logistics. How can these boys still have supply? This is something. No, they don't. Okay, they don't do not. So it's okay. I don't know what these rangers... Are they trying to sneak over here? I'm not sure. Here the enemy has also snuck in. Uh, let's reinforce a bit as much as we can. They just keep this position. We wanted to do that. Let's see. Here we attack this crossing rangers. With a couple of ships. These boys have to go to repair. Let's bring them actually here. And I think we're gonna bring in, yeah, as a little bit of surprise, these marines over here, if they really much in, they're gonna get... I think they shouldn't have the reconnaissance, so they should get ambushed over here. Same for them, if they wanna go towards what will... I feel like the, both these divisions are doomed. From Alexandria, let's see what we can do over here. Yeah, I keep this position. Next turn, maybe with uh, ship support, we take, should be able to take out this fortress as well. And down here... Let's attack these cavalrys that were trying to sneak here through the swamps. We have, but then they can only move one, so also they seem to be doomed. Very nice. That's why we had a brigade down here to protect, basic to protect for the partisans over here, but also the uh, why she's coming here and not on the street. I don't know, but I guess also the supply must be terrible, basic or basically not existent without a HQ set. Alrighty, we've got reinforcements here in form of. In shape of this very um, gunboat. I mean, there's the monitor around, right? Yeah, maybe we'll use it to raid over here. That's more promising. While these guys can stay here, excellent. Then well, let's have a look over here. What is wrong with this division? Taking out this brigade. Yep. Then I feel like we... Is this basically where... This is the only... Ah, uh, yeah, railway. So we have to get control over this one. And also they are out without any supply. Now we should control the entire railway. Can we use it already? Um, that would be quite lovely. Yeah, hooray. That brings in the possibility to basically transfer reinforcement. Oh, yeah. Now even further, right? Uh... I guess Union Town has to be stacked up in supplies, but whatever, that's good. So Montgomery gets close and reach, and I think that's what I'm going to do with this division immediately. Transfer it down here. Will help us a lot, these boys out of supply, yeah, whatever. Keep on attacking over here. These guys don't have any attacks anymore, unfortunately, but that's okay. Let's take Camden now. To cross the Alabama River down here um, from Vitumka. Uh, I'm not gonna take Montgomery from here, but yeah, soon, soon, soon. We're getting closer. Alrighty. So much about Howard. Maybe you should bring him closer. Yeah, maybe over time he needs to lead the attack on Montgomery, so we need him closer. I think this is looking great. Could, uh, can actually command everybody in nice should be helpful down here so let's continue here in uh, georgia or west northwestern georgia unfortunately can't really attack here to macon but let's take fort valley first and bring in reinforcements question is where we need our forces how, how where grant grant has to be i feel like american might be the main resistance right now August, August is probably a more interesting target. 
So let's see. I don't know, but it depends. If Augusta is basically undefended, I don't care. Uh, it could dedicate uh, Grant down here. But let's see. Let's take Sand as well and push a little bit to the east. To be honest, I think I'm going to dedicate this very division also down here and with these three divisions and the artillery, I think we should be fine. Taking my call, which is not even a fighting spirit, so it's okay. And then uh, Grant marches to Crawford will. Okay, and Agasta is actually defended. But let's move up, that's okay. And these guys, yeah, force march over here, so I think with these three divisions I should be also able to blast them out of Augusta next turn. Very, very smooth. Over here, Fort Pulas gets a little reinforcement, alright. Uh, naval stuff we do last. Alrighty, so much about this. Then we've got the Gilbert army here in Northern Carolina. We need to take this cavalry division to occupy this mine, and I think hurting the enemy's economy another time is always just simply lovely, so that's why we're going to do that. Um, even though we are, seem to be out of supply, but not, I think, if we take Salisbury and Concord as well, then I'd like to move, obviously, towards Raleigh. And therefore, um, I should... Occupy here. Greensboro probably the best hub for the moment. Are we getting better supply also down here? I hope so. Yeah, supplies ensured. That's good. Oh no, I should have moved the core first, damn it. But it is what it is. And I think I'm actually gonna really ignore this this Appalachian backlands. Maybe one do we have one unit available to do the mm, maybe this division? At least happens to secure the flank for the moment. Not that a massive remaining army of the force of Steiner is hiding here in the Appalachians. <laughs> All right, um, then we let's let's get moving here. This cavalry takes Danville, of course, and then I'm gonna move towards Clarksville while these boys yeah, just establish this connection. Fantastic. Oh, I hope uh, I hope this partisans just just don't spawn. Immediately the next turn. It's connected. He was he's will and it looks really like the enemy is being pushed back in the, in the eastern colonies, uh, in eastern states, in eastern southern states, almost to the sea. Wow. This development is insane. Mm-hmm. So and now we're basically at the main remaining front. Yeah, the Virginia front. Let's definitely use our artillery first. Wherever we can. Boom. Three damage. Very nice. Hitting the core hard. And I get these guys have to go, which is absolutely fair. Get reinforced next turn. Let's strike here first where we can. Goodbye, next CSA core. Goodbye, fortress. Okay, this division is uh, unfortunately retreating. But yeah, as you see, the enemy front lines are entirely collapsing. It's insane how we're blasting through right now. Um, forgive me if I'm getting a little bit maybe careless here and there, I'm not sure. Let's just push here over here to annoy them. Williamsburg can be taken by the HQ now. Ok, 
Okay, so Bly here is really, really bad, so I should rather move back. Yep. This attack on the core is unfortunately not very promising. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, it's, but P I think we're not going to take Petersburg this turn, but it's okay. Yeah, I mean... If there's no big need... <laughs> Maybe let's shuffle even these boys here a little bit forward, yeah. And also here I know I'm risking another rebellion. Oh, actually, I can use these boys to protect Stone, that's fine. Yeah. Alrighty. Any more attacks that remain? I mean, we could this unit, but no. Anything that can be done over here. I think this was already pretty promising. Pushed back the enemy hard here with our landing. Let's see what we will do. I mean, we could basically embark our units immediately again. Just want the enemy doesn't want don't want the enemy to know. So let's take out this gunboat quickly. It'll be definitely the task of the Marines also to, in combination with these boys to take out the remaining fortresses. Actually, I reinforce those so I can put them in boats already next turn. Let's try to hit hunt down this division actually. Oh, it's that. Yeah, but they are hit pretty hard, and they yeah, this is gonna be very challenging for the enemy. I mean, what that means challenging, I think that they, 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 it's obviously all over the game in the end. But um, yeah, now basically with with searching the fight and the decisive battle here next to Richmond, where that the enemy can't win, uh, might have been a mistake. But yeah, I don't know if there was if she wouldn't have if there was another chance to avoid that. So well. These we can bring into the Washington repair yard. Uh, we have even Mr. Mead here available. Let me keep him here for the second. If we need another HQ at some point, we can use him. Yeah, over here. Actually shoot on the harbor. Yeah, but I thought there might be a chance that we hit the mo uh, the monitor as well. So let's retreat in this case. Yeah, we why actually not? Yeah, if any really wants to reinforce, but let's go raiding instead. These guys need to fill up anyways. Alrighty. Anything else to do? Do we have any ships around here? We've got this ship raiding down here, but that's okay. Maybe let's get a little closer up here since... And we can focus on this so we can fill up supplies at some point. This frigate, this frigate is doing a great job down here. All, all good, actually. I think that's... We did everything we needed to do, and... There's not so much left to do. We can set up new units, the next core, yeah. Uh, we can... Oh, there's even here a division we can use, an extra one. Yeah, maybe... It'll... Okay, let's say, it. Um, since we have such an abundance of troops and superiority, I feel like... If we're gonna use these troops and meet, maybe we start another landing when our marines are here are freed up and then we could basically take Charleston, <laughs> but we're coming from the east, or Wilmington and drop a couple of troops down here. Yeah, Alabama takes even too long to land down here, it's too far away. Is there any research to do we can do? Oh, yeah, we actually had some success and 
Let's keep on doing this. Logistics, exactly 400 left. Um, how we can come on, come on, like giving this chance that there was trouble in Europe and wars going on. Great powers are not necessarily happy about us. Just a role play perspective would be, I guess, that naval weapons and a good navy would be something that protects us potentially from those uh, people. So let's do actually some and come on for the train lovers. Let's do some armored trains. Leaving us with 725 MPP that I still can use. And I, as I said, I think. Maybe let's get a couple of monitors. Two, I would say, yeah. Six turns probably won't arrive even, but. No, there's definitely no chance. And then another gunboat. Come on. All right. Look at this. Uh, still continuous flow of income. Yeah, beginning of 64, we get two new monitors in. So I guess uh, yeah, enemy can still reinforce the naval battle despite this little problems she made us and like it was an interesting idea. However, of course, with the removal, no troops on the land it was a little bit hazardous. Uh, anyways, but but even yeah, with our little bit of navy research and production, we managed to contain the new CSA navy. And yeah, now I'm definitely want, uh, intend to keep the upper hand in this case. All right, guys, that seems to be it. Um, course let's quickly finish the turn together and not yeah the confederate goes down for losing wicksburg we celebrate uh, is this probably not enough yet for 25 4 percent i would be highly surprised i am um, european support drops okay arkansas gives us some partisans but bushwalkers field telegraph level two naval tactics oh nice Naval tactics level two also fits very well with our um, yeah prognosis. Uh, we also have to fight a war with Brazil, so therefore uh, we need the navy anyways. But no big surprises, no nor surprising uh, victory this turn, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, uh, it would be fantastic if you leave me a like and subscription if you haven't yet, since it costs you nothing and brings me a lot. So thank you much for your support. Apart from this, um, let me know what you think down in the comments. What would you like to see in the future? Since yeah, I'm always happy for um, user suggestions and so forth. Um, since yeah, this this is running out, and I will find new let's play material, new games, or a different scenario. I don't know. Strategic com command will for sure not disappear from this very channel. Let me know what you would like to see. If you have any special interests or what you what what would fit me very well, I'm always happy for any feedback and ideas. Thank you so much for that, and of course, most importantly, see you next time in the next episode. Bye, your strategy wolf.